Hello and welcome to the 16th edition of Standards Watch, a weekly bulletin which is informative and presents the latest developments from the world of standardization. I am your host Chinmay Vivedi to take you through the most captivating and transformative stories of this week, from making technology more inclusive for persons with disabilities to setting standards for medical lab instruments. This edition has got it all. And finally, we will understand what aspects to look for while buying a ceiling fan. Our special segment, Consumer Connect, is lined up at the end, which will empower you to become an aware and smart consumer. Let's get started with this week's top headlines and discover how Indian standards are not just shaping products, they are shaping lives too. BIS expresses its solidarity with the differently abled persons by standardizing assistive devices. Health informatics emerges as an important area for standardization. Forensic sciences join the quality ecosystem with the help of Indian standards. Now, after this quick glance, let's take a detailed look at each of these headlines. An assistive product is a product that optimizes a person's functioning and reduces disability. Assistive products can range from physical products such as wheelchairs, glasses, prosthetic limbs, canes, and hearing aids to digital solutions such as speech recognition or time management software and captioning. BIS has formulated several Indian standards for assistive products, ranging from rehabilitation equipment like wheelchairs, crutches, rollators, aids for visual impairment, products for prosthesis and orthosis like Jaipur foot, as well as test method standards for assistive products. Health informatics is changing the way healthcare works by using digital tools to make things faster, smarter and more connected. Some of the subjects on which standards are under development in these areas include health informatics, representation of categorical structures with Ayurveda terminology, and health informatics data elements and structures for identification and exchange of information on persons with disability, part one, screening. In addition, BIS has published IS ISO TR4421 for health informatics, introduction to Ayurveda informatics. BIS is even working on making common medical symbols that are easier to understand. Forensic science standards cover specification for laboratory equipment, operational procedures, terminology, and evidence handling. There are standards for products like paraffin dispensers, IS17533, embalming machines, IS17534, automated grossing stations, IS17535, and polygraph equipment, IS18308 as well as for protocols like DNA contamination minimization, IS-17741, forensic terminology and evidence handling, IS-17742, medico-legal examination SOPs, IS-18737 and IS-18757. These standards are critical tools for ensuring forensic integrity in medico-legal proceedings and by using them, justice can be delivered in a free and fair manner. The journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step. Let's now look at this week's quick updates from the world of standards, the initiative aiming to achieve safety, quality and trust of all stakeholders. The Kochi branch office of BIS conducted the second state-level committee meeting on standardization at Trivandrum on 11th July 2025. BIS Corners established at IIT Dhanbad and IIT Banaras Hindu University to strengthen the quality awareness and standardization initiatives. The Vijayawada branch office of BIS raids Flipkart, eCart and Misho warehouses in Andhra Pradesh, seizing over 25 categories of uncertified and unsafe products that violated the provisions of the quality control orders. BIS conducted a pioneering two-day awareness program on Adventure Tourism Safety Management System. The first of its kind training program held at NITS Noida was inaugurated by Ms. Chitra Gupta, Deputy Director General of BIS. 
A two-day capsule course on safety rules for lifts, escalators and moving walks was also organized on 17th and 18th July 2025 at NITS Noida. The event witnessed an enthusiastic participation of over 100 industry professionals. The Central Laboratory of BIS inaugurated its newly renovated and upgraded facilities like the state-of-the-art geyser testing and impulse voltage test system, among others, on 15 July 2025. It was inaugurated by Sri Pramod Kumar Tiwari, Director General of BIS. BIS is planning to conduct a Veterinary Hospital Planning and Surgical Sectional Committee MHD 13 on 28th July 2025 at the Tamil Nadu Veterinary and Animal Sciences University, Chennai. The number of medical devices under BIS certification increases to 76 in the year 2024-25, which includes 35 medical and surgical devices, 19 assistive products and 22 hospital equipment and surgical disposables. The Jaipur branch office of BIS organized a two-day capacity building program on 14th and 15th July 2025 for state-level officials of the Water Resources Department, Government of Rajasthan. The program aimed to strengthen awareness and adoption of Indian standards in departmental projects. The Dehradun branch office of BIS organized a sensitization program at the Indo-Tibetan Border Police Campus in Uttarkashi on 24 June 2025. More than 150 ITBP personnel attended the program. BIS with the Ministry of Rural Development hosted a national webinar on the new Indian standard titled Sustainable Development of Rural Habitats Indicators on 11 July 2025 aimed to promote awareness and facilitate the effective implementation of this crucial standard. Sri Shailesh Kumar Singh, Secretary, Department of Rural Development and Dr. Sudhir Krishna, Chairperson, Smart Cities Sectional Committee of BIS shared the objectives and details of the standard. It's time for a short break. Interested to know what Rajpal Yadav has to say when it comes to being a smart consumer and quality conscious. I think Rajpalji is not ready to compromise on quality too. Let's see together. Jija ji. Oh, Chandu. Oh, you have to take our office from our office. We are done. If I don't take my office, then I will take my office. Leave all this. Tell me. काम काज कैसा चल रहा है? वो चंदू ने खुद की स्टील और एल्युमिनियम की फैक्ट्री डाली है। हाँ जी, आज से एल्युमिनियम फॉइल हो या स्टील के बर्तन, सबकी जिम्मेदारी लेगा आपका चंदन। जिम्मेदारी बाद में लेना, पहले बीआईएस का लाइसेंस तो ले लो। बीआईएस, स्टील और एल्युमिनियम के लिए। ओहो, क्या ही बताऊँ किस चीज पर CRS मार्क है, किस चीज पर ISI मार्क है? तुम्हारा BIS यहाँ भी आ गया, हाँ? बिल्कुल। देखो, भारत सरकार ने साढ़े सात सौ से अधिक प्रोडक्ट्स पर BIS क्वालिटी मार्क अनिवार्य किया है, जिसमें स्टील, अल्युमिनियम से बने प्रोडक्ट भी शामिल हैं। फिर चीज़ा जी ये तो पता ही नहीं था। सुना स्वीटी, ये तो पता ही नहीं था। किसी भी प्रोडक्ट की ऑथेंटिसिटी चेक करने, नए मानकों की जानकारी प्राप्त करने, सर्टिफिकेशन और नकली सामान की शिकायत दर्ज करने तक सब कुछ ऑन द स्पॉट। आप ही आज कह सकते हैं तुम्हारी शादी बिल्कुल स्टैंडर्ड वाले घर में हुई है। काश मैं भी अपने लिए ऐसा कुछ बोल पाता। अरे क्या जीजा जी आप भी ना सेफ्टी को हल्के मत लीजिए प्लीज क्योंकि ये है बड़ी काम की चीज वेलकम बैक मॉडर्न हेल्थ केयर रिलाइज ऑन द डायग्नोस्टिक टेस्ट्स दैट एड इन डायग्नोसिस प्रिवेंटिंग डिजीजेस गाइडिंग ट्रीटमेंट डिसीजंस एंड इंप्रूविंग पेशेंट हेल्थ देयरफॉर 
Standardizing medical laboratory instruments is very crucial. Let us see how BIS is contributing towards standardization in the field of diagnostic test equipments. Medical laboratory instruments are vital in healthcare, providing accurate data that guide diagnosis and treatments. Standardizing medical laboratory instruments is crucial for ensuring safety, reliability and consistent diagnostic performance. Indian standards for lab instruments, devices and glassware define key parameters for design, quality and usage, offering a unified reference to support compliance, enhance accuracy and promote best practices across medical laboratory settings. Medical laboratory essentials can be broadly categorized by their functions. Instruments for collection and analysis of blood. Instruments for analysis of urine and other tests. Liquid handling and measurement tools. Specimen preparation and pathological analysis. Let's understand the standardization work undertaken by BIS in the medical labs field. Instruments for collection and analysis of blood. Blood tests are a cornerstone of modern medicine, providing vital information about a person's health. Some of the instruments and applicable Indian standards are IS10867, ISO 6710 is the Indian standard for single-use containers for human venous blood specimen collection. Besides design parameters, it also specifies requirements for sterility and disinfection. IS10269 is the Indian standard for hemocytometer, which is used to measure the concentration of red blood cells, often measured as part of a complete blood count. Instruments for analysis of urine and other tests. IS4069 is the Indian standard for urinometer, which is used to measure urine-specific gravity required to assess kidney function or hydration. IS6606 is the standard for albuminometer, which is a graduated glass tube used for quantifying albumin in urine, with high levels of this protein suggesting kidney damage. BIS has developed key standards for liquid handling and measurement tools. IS4087, pipette for hemoglobinometer and IS4364, serological pipettes. Both are used in pathology work. Specimen preparation and pathological analysis. Specimen preparation and cultivation are critical steps in clinical microbiology to identify the causative agents of infectious diseases. Pathological microscopes are used in pathology and histology to diagnose diseases by examining tissue and cell samples. To enable this, BIS has published the following standards for these tools. IS 4754 is the Indian standard for staining troughs and jars which are essential laboratory tools used for the staining of microscope slides. BIS has formulated IS4444 for bacteriological bottles. The Indian standard IS6942 is the Rooks flasks used in bacteriological applications. IS7039 is the Indian standard for screw cap culture tubes used in medical laboratories. Following sample preparation, pathological analysis is the next step. IS4381 for pathological microscope is key to deriving insights from the specimen for accurate diagnosis and treatment. Adhering to Indian standards for medical laboratory instruments and glassware is fundamental to patient safety and effective healthcare. BIS Empowering Healthcare Through Standards And now it's time for our special segment, Consumer Connect. Today's topic is ceiling fans. They cool our rooms, circulate air 
and run for hours every day. But when it comes to buying fans, how do you know which one is safe, efficient and economical? Let's understand the important points to keep in mind before buying a ceiling fan. आज हम डिस्कस करेंगे कि जब हम मार्केट से इलेक्ट्रिक सीलिंग फैन खरीदना चाहते हैं तो हमें किन बातों का ध्यान रखना चाहिए बाजार में आपको तीन साइज के पंखे मिलेंगे जो बहुत कॉमन साइज होता है 900, 1200 सौ और चौदह सौ एम एम नौ सौ एम एम का जो पंखा है वो आपको पचहत्तर स्क्वायर फीट तक के रूम में लगाना है बारह सौ एम का जो पंखा है वो आपको सौ स्क्वायर फीट तक के रूम में लगाना है और चौदह सौ एम का पंखा होता है उसको चार सौ स्क्वायर फीट तक के रूम में लगा सकते हैं सेफ्टी की बात करें तो पंखे में इलेक्ट्रिक शॉक के अगेंस्ट में प्रोटेक्शन है कि नहीं है अर्थिंग टर्मिनल की जरूरत है तो प्रोवाइड किया गया या नहीं है परफॉर्मेंस की बात करें तो जो मेन एयर डिलीवरी है वो रिक्वायरमेंट सेट की गई है एयर डिलीवरी 1200 सौ का पंखा है उसकी कम से कम 200 सौ मीटर क्यू पर मिनट होना चाहिए रेगुलेटर अगर पंखे के साथ दिया गया है तो उसका रेगुलेशन प्रॉपर होना चाहिए ऐसा नहीं है कि पंखा स्टेप वन और टू में एक जैसी स्पीड के साथ चल रहा है और थ्री और फोर में जाके अचानक से स्पीड चेंज कर दे रहा है उसको हर स्टेप पे बराबर स्पीड चेंज करना चाहिए ड्यूरेबिलिटी की बात करें तो पंखे को वन थाउजेंड टाइम स्टार्ट करके देखा जाता है ये एक टेस्ट है रेगुलेटर है तो उसके इंड्योरेंस का टेस्ट है मैकेनिकल उसमें इंड्योरेंस है कि नहीं है लॉन्ग टर्म में चल पाएगा कि नहीं चल पाएगा और एनर्जी एफिशिएंसी की हम बात करें तो पंखे में पावर इनपुट का टेस्ट होता है पचास वॉट मैक्सिमम अलाउड है पंखे के लिए और अगर एयर डिलीवरी ज्यादा है तो वो ट्वेंटी तक का उसमें रिलैक्सेशन रहता है इसके बाद बात आती है मार्किंग की अगर आप पंखा कुछ खरीद रहे हैं तो वो क्या है उसमें क्या इसकी स्पेसिफिकेशन है टेक्निकल वो उस पर मार्किंग होनी चाहिए ये भी आई एस थ्री सेवन फोर में स्पेसिफाइड है भारतीय मानक ब्यूरो ने आई एस थ्री सेवन फोर बनाया है इसमें पंखे की सेफ्टी परफॉर्मेंस ड्यूरेबिलिटी और एनर्जी एफिशेंसी को शामिल किया गया है अगली बार जब भी आप मार्केट से सीलिंग फैन खरीदने जाते हैं केबल और केबल ऐसे मार्क सीलिंग फैन ही खरीदें उस ऐसे मार्क के साथ टेन डिजिट का जो लाइसेंस नंबर होगा उसको बी एस के रेप से जरूर वेरीफाई करें Before we wrap up, here is a quick reminder: you can download the BIS Care app to verify certified products, raise queries, or stay updated with the latest standards. And if you like to know more or need any assistance, feel free to reach out to us at Standards Watch at BIS Gov In. And that's all for this week's edition of Standards Watch. We'll be back next week with more stories, expert insights, and developments from the world where quality isn't just measured; it's lived. Namaskar.